Okay, let's talk about summoning. So for everybody, facilitators and non-facilitators, they have the ability to follow other people. Now, as a good rule of thumb is when you join a Canvas or a template or a work session where people are using Mural and you feel a little bit lost, seek out the facilitator. As I mentioned, you see them over here at the, at the bottom, or perhaps you know of another user or a friend that's in the Canvas and they know exactly what they're doing. And the easy thing to do is, is just go in, click on follow. So when you hover over, you'll see it pops up there and you can actually follow what Vanner is doing. Right, so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna go exactly to where Vander number two is in the canvas. And I can see he's messing around over here, looking at some of the voting results from one of the sessions and then uh, you know going on his way. And that doesn't bother Vander and it doesn't bother me. However, as a facilitator, what happens from time to time is that you wanna actually bring people to a specific space within a template, either to give instructions or to run a session or to run a specific exercise. Um, and you need folks to join you. As a facilitator, you have the added benefit of actually summoning people to a specific area within the canvas. I'm gonna demonstrate how you do that. Now where the summon feature lives is if you go down here and you click, you'll see that I have now hovered over my icon here as a facilitator. And then what happens is, is that when I go up, I have the ability to summon someone. So I'm gonna do that, click on summon. And what happens is, is that I now have a visual indicator here at the top of the screen. So just to keep in mind, it's a bit confusing that I have another user in the canvas under another account under my name, and that person is now following me. This will give you indication um, here of how many people are now actually following you within the canvas as a facilitator. You have a, another feature here, and I'll talk about that in a second. And then the next thing you can do is you can actually release them. In this state, someone can actually release themselves from your summoning and then go off and do their own thing. In general, we use this the most of the time because we don't want to be too forceful in the way we summon folks around in the template. However, there is times that you want to actually have specific focus. Let's say you're presenting someone or you want to really highlight something or give instruction. This is where this element comes in. You have an extra link here that says take control. And that does exactly what it says. So when I say, and I click on this, I take control of what the other users are seeing. They are seeing exactly what I'm seeing. So if I move the canvas around um, and I'm doing things, they are seeing exactly what I'm seeing. The other benefit of this mode is that the user can't any, add anything. They have to look at and listen to what I'm saying. The other thing that I will point out though is don't forget that once you've done that you actually then also release them. So you then once they you click on that, it means that the person or the users that you have summoned now has the ability to control and do things again and do whatever they need to do as per your instruction. So that is summon feature. Use carefully, but use with intention could be really handy.